What is up, everybody? This is your man Sambo here for another exciting episode of Ride Dog Productions. Now, a couple of things that we're going to address in this episode is what happens when somebody critiques your guitar playing when you're first starting out and what to do about it, number one. And number two, it seems to be the case that everybody seems to think that metalheads don't care about anything. They're a bunch of anarchist, crazy people that don't pay attention to nothing. And we're going to get into that right now. So, first off, if somebody critiques your guitar playing and says, Wow, dude, you suck. Or, girl, you need to practice more. And, you know, we can go on with the general questions that basically hurt your feelings when you're first starting out to play guitar. Now, playing guitar, one thing I can tell you is, is that you are never a master. Guys like Steve Vai... Joe Satriani, Paul Gilbert, Kirk Hammett, James Hetfield, they're always still learning. Guys that have played the instrument for 40, 50 years of their lifespan are still not masters of the instrument. Because that does not exist. So one thing you could tell them is that, look, man, I'm learning. I'm practicing. I'm trying. Another thing you could say is, can you play what I just played? You can't. Exactly. So hush your business. Because me, I've been through that a few times myself. They've, you know, heard my playing and said, dude, you need to practice. And that was roughly around the time that I was about 12, 13 years old, which is, as you can guess, many, many years ago. And I told him, dude, I practice three hours a day. What can you do on this? Here, let me hand you my guitar and you play it better. Or could just be, maybe you do need to practice a little more. Take criticism constructively. Use it as motivation. Don't get upset. Don't get hurt from it, which I know is hard. Trust me. I've been there. It is a straight up sucker punch to the ego when somebody says a riff you played is terrible. But Play it better. And I can honestly tell you, looking at things that way, since I started looking at them that way, has done nothing but help me out tremendously. Because I've managed to drop my practicing from three, four hours a day to maybe half hour, 45 minutes a day. And it's a lot more constructive due to the fact that I've looked at what... Okay, so I'm playing this riff and somebody has something terrible to say about this part of it. So I look at the riff a completely different way to where maybe there's one technique or one thing that I'm not doing right that needs to make it sound right. So, in itself, what needs to happen is instead of just practicing scales, chords, or whatever, you practice the riff and get that whole technique down, and that's going to make you a lot better player. Because, yeah, of course, scales, chords, things like that, our knowledge that you need to keep up here. But at the same time, 
how to apply that knowledge is a completely different thing. Because if you sit there and practice blues name minor all day, every day, yeah, you may know that skill. But how do you use it? That's the thing that you need to bear in mind. And I made that mistake myself. I know maybe nine or ten scales off the top of my head that I practice every day, all day. But when it came to using them applicably, I had no idea. I had no idea what to do. And it does happen that way. But you can learn to use it applicably as long as you understand the technique of how your guitar playing heroes use them. It'll work out a lot better to your benefit just going back instead of looking at the chords, the scales, and stuff like that. And the more technical side of things, instead of just seeing how maybe Marty Friedman or Alex Skolnick or whomever you happen to be a big fan of, use them. Like me, I'm a rhythm player, so I'm a huge Hatfield fan. So when it came to how to use chord progressions and scales and things of that nature, it was a little dicey for me because Hetfield doesn't do lead lines much. He focuses on the meat of the song, the riff. So I worked a lot more towards that in my later years, of course. And now I have a better understanding of what I need to do as a guitar player to learn what I am best at, which is rhythm. Okay, so... <coughs> second part I want to discuss is how people tend to think that metalheads don't care about anything. They're just a bunch of anarchists with guitars that just want to Play guitar, dominate the world, and get liquored up. Which, we ain't gonna lie in this community. It's a big part. Am I lying? But, one thing I want to put a little, you know, notice on, is that we went to Spirit Halloween today, and for $2, you can get this bracelet and donate some money to Children's Hospital to give them a Halloween. You know, give them costumes, candy, all that fun stuff. So, donate money. You know it's going towards it, so there ain't no excuse. Now, there are charities out there which you can kind of see their BS. But we're metalheads. We love the Spirit Halloween store because all the cool decorations and stuff that we can use all year long. Like, who doesn't love a Michael Myers doormat? I'm just saying. You can donate $2, get a bracelet, which is cool to wear, and make kids happy. Come on, dudes. Girls. Anybody else? Do it. It's cool. And I'm going to leave you with that. But just before I let you go, I'm going to do the interview questions that I am going to do for my future guest hosts. So that way you get an idea of where I'm going to go behind it. You know, kind of where I come from as far as influences all that stuff. So, I will talk to you in a second. See you in a bit. Bye.